Hello everyone, this is Nicole from Altenew. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. And we are going to take a closer look at the Garden Picks 3D die set that is a part of January 2019 release. This is going to allow you to create a beautifully put together 3D, very realistic, really uh, in-depth flowers for your projects. So we are going to go ahead and look at the layering guide first. I have a prototype die, so I printed out the insert cards that you will get with your packaging, but you can also download this images from our website. I chose one of the flowers and one of the leaves to show you how you can layer these pretty easily. There are four layering for the flower petals itself and a couple pieces for the center portion of the flower and two layering images for the leaves. I'm going to layer these on top of my die cutting machines and using a white cardstock, I'm going to cut these out and I have colored these in so that I can coordinate the colors together. I use a part of the red sunset card colors and also a grapevine for the solid image flower. So I'm going to use the, the most layered mirroring image right on top of the solid image solid image is going to be the darkest color for you so that it can kind of show through through the opening of the flower die cut and you're going to take the most the next um, most solid image layer and add here on top of each other and then we're going to go with the third layering image and this was colored in rouge from red sunset and i'm going to use glue tapes to adhere those layer on top of each other so you can already see there's three layers and it's showing lots of depths for your projects the last one, which is the least amount of solid image from the die cut, goes very top. And this was colored with blush alcohol markers. And that is going to go right on top of it, showing the highlight portion of the flower die cut piece. So this is a very intricate piece, so make sure you don't squish it when adhering the glue tapes on top of each other. And we're going to make sure these line up along the edges pretty easily and it fits like a puzzle. So you'll be able to adhere these fairly quickly as long as you reference to the layering guide. So there's a couple layers of the center portion. So I just added just a yellow piece. There's another one that goes on top as well. The leaf is fairly easy. I added um, solid image and then one the layering die cut image on top of that. These were colored which with um, forest forest glaze and also the evergreen colors. So we're going to go ahead and ad adhere these on top of each other. And then that's how you layer some of the images from the garden picks I set. These are very pretty and very detailed, but it's not as intimidating as you might think they are. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, make sure to let us know by emailing us at support at Thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.